Alright, today we're going to be looking at the mopping feature of the Debea D960 Robotic Vacuum. To start off, I'm going to be showing you how the water tank looks like in detail. And this water tank holds this microfiber mop in place. You put water on this opening here on top. And water slowly drips down to this area here, down to the four, uh, six small holes at the bottom. Now somebody suggested that I should soak this, uh, this um, microfiber mop in water and wring out the excess just to prevent streaks and I will do that in a bit. And to attach this microfiber towel you just slide this sleeves here on the side to both to both these notches here on both sides of this water tank slide it in carefully slide it in first this will help hold it in place and after you slide slide these sleeves in you stick the microfiber mop on the velcro strips at the bottom here. There are five velcro strips. One, two, three, four, five. Try to push, pull it as far as you can so that it spreads out evenly. The, the mop is spread out evenly. And I'll be right back. I'll just put water and soak this pad in water and we'll start the mapping demonstration. I'm back. I've already soaked the microfiber pad in water. I wring out the excess water. The purpose of this is to prevent streaks on the floor, especially if you're doing linoleum flooring like this or tile. You could use, you can spray it with some cleaning solution if you want to, but I think water would be okay for main, maintenance type cleanups. So I'll just attach this, this microfiber pad on this bracket slash water tank and I'll put water I'll not I'll just put a little bit of water since I'll be doing just as just a small room I don't need a lot of water so that's just that's another tip that you can use to to save on time from emptying this water tank and to prevent unnecessary streaks on the floor now to add water just open this cover and pour in the water I have here some, some distilled some distilled water I'm just adding a little bit of water here not a lot I'm not doing a large room I'm only doing a small room which is the reason why I'm not adding a lot of water now to attach this bracket just remove the dry dirt bin slide it off just push this lever at the back slide this off then attach this in its place we'll see how this robot navigates with the water tank on and Automatically the, do the robot will detect that the water tank is on and the motor will, will shut off. Right now I have the tripod set up and let's just press the start button here at the middle of the control, remote control and the robot will start to mop. And let's see how this robot will navigate. I expect the same type of navigation as it has with the with the dirt bin attached and let's see if this robot will leave some streaks on the floor during the mopping cycle I'll, I'll let this run for around five minutes or so I don't have a timer so I'll just I'll just do a feel I'll just check from time to time how much how long I've recorded and 
hopefully we'll get an accurate test on what to expect from this robot in real life it does not have the same cleaning pattern as an iLife Brava that uses a more um, thorough back and forth pattern that mopping pattern this robot is similar to the iLife in that it it has a random pattern random map mopping pattern so it's it's pretty much a great option if you want, just want something to maintain your floors with something to mop your tiled floors or hardwood or linoleum floors or you want to dust it lightly since the dry dirt bin and water tank are separate you cannot use this to mop and vacuum at the same time you will need to do it separately if you want something that would do those things at the same time you could opt for a second generation iLife or a, an AlphaWise X5 you can check my channel for the video review of that if I go over five minutes I do apologize but I, I'm trying to do the best that I can to give you an accurate test so that you know what to expect from this robot I have I placed a chair there so that you can see how it does navigating in between furniture you can also check my other review of the of this robot again in my channel if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and share this video to your friends or, or family those who may be looking for a robotic vacuum such as this it's a 10 minute mark I'm sorry I apologize I went over the 5 minute mark by by a lot and just just check the floors here and see if it this robot left any streaks so far I don't see any visible streaks at least through the viewfinder of the camera let's just go around the room against the light and see there are any streaks I don't see any streaks which means the robot was able to do a pretty good job in in regulating the flow of water and I don't see any streaks from this angle again and let's zoom out and let's get a close look under the robot to see how the the mop looks like how dirty it is okay the great thing about this type of design is that you don't need to flip the robot over just to have a look at the water tank all you need to do is push this lever slide out and the mop is pretty dirty with all the dirt stuck on the floor and 
it did pick up I was I, I was mistaken this robot also picked up some bit of some bit of dust here if you can see through the camera I'm not sure if you can see it that means the vacuum is on even with this attached and there's quite a bit of water left in the tank if you can see and overall this robot did a pretty good job mopping it's not a replacement to a hand mop it's not a replacement to a brava but it did a good job in terms of avoiding getting stuck in the chair here it didn't get stuck on this chair and it toggled between a random cleaning pattern and, and a back and forth one disappointment though would be this robot did not clean the edges enough I, I didn't see it clean too much of the edges when it tried to clean the edges it was trying to it didn't go in a straight path it just went in a it tried to um, turn and and crawl its way through the edges which means that the mop did not reach the edge the side of the the room so that is a concern for me I hope that Tibeya will address this issue in in their future robots in their future releases and if you want to get more updates want more to get more robot reviews or vacuum reviews please subscribe and click the bell icon beside the subscribe button and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and thanks again for watching